I'm mad now. Mom. You know, I spent my allowance money on this. I spent my, I spent more than half of my allowance on this, David. You're a dick. Please tell me that wasn't a real question. Was that a real question? I was about to say, you are one hell of a special person, and I love you, because it's literally across the road from your house. Mom, I wasn't being a bully. I was saying something nice to him. sells pizza and laundry at the same place like you didn't expect it to catch on fire <laughs> what the fuck you don't cook food where you wash clothes that's you says the fact that a pizzeria slash laundry mat just burned down and you look laundry. like Cindy Lou Who mom you know because your name is Ula and my name is Julie Ta Tama refuses to call me Julie. She call she calls me Ulia. Ulia. Yeah, you haven't heard her say that. Uh -huh. That's the only thing Tama ever calls me, other than babe. She calls me Ulia. Whose fault is that? Because nobody's jumping. Who's taking it? Because nobody wants it.
And now I have to go to the shitty salon. Mom, cause remember the last time those fucking Vietnamese people did my nails? Stop whining. I don't want to listen to this nonsense. He broke my manicure. Julie, knock it off. You're ridiculous. This behavior is unacceptable. were actual like I got them done. You're crying over this? Sorry, what is going yes, on? Yes, I'm crying over this mom. Julie, you were saying the other day. I don't know what they're doing. I just paid thirty dollars for these. <laughs> I have a million sets of nails right over here. You can put a set on. No, I can't because these ones aren't these are gel. Wow, Julie, stop crying. That's ridiculous. I have real world problems. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a phone. That's ridiculous. You're being weird. David, do you turn her into this weirdo? No. She don't act like this when you're around. She don't cry over broken nails. She's like, oh, fuck, mom. No, you. because this is me. I actually, like, went and got my nails done. Oh, my God, Julie, you're being dramatic. I don't care. When you have a real problem, come to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're being dramatic. <laughs> Nobody's listening to us. That's not a valid excuse to cry. So do what you want. We don't want to see it or hear it or feel the whiny ass when you vibrate your voice. Stop sniffling. You have a vibrator. You know where it is. <coughs> I'm gonna hear that shit. <laughs> You know damn well you'd be crying too if dad broke your fucking manicure two days after you just paid to get it done. No, oh, no, 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 no. She to would you. simmer quietly for days. No, we would both get it redone. <laughs> we would go get it. Well, now that you it's taking me to get them redone, so I'm not crying. Every time my shit, I'm at work busting my ass, and all of a sudden my whole nail ripped. Halfway down, my real nail from my nails ripping off will, because they're stuck to my nails, will fucking rip my real nail halfway down, blood everywhere, all the time, bitch, shut up. And that's me at work, not sitting on a couch with no job. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> she just throws that in there every time. I'm just saying, if you were upset about something real, I'm on your side. But that, I am not. Mom, I'm support. still emotionally distraught about all the money that went missing. Oh, from my I don't account. give a fuck. I'm not going to get distraught. Or I'm not going to be fucking feeding that bullshit that you're doing. I don't even want it turned on in this house. You take that shit outside. I'm just saying, it's not a valid reason. It's not. But have I ever told her to fuck off about anything that she cries about? No. <laughs> this is not a valid reason. It's I feel like it was a pretty valid reason to cry. Oh my god. It shut fucking up. hurt. I'm complaining about it. I keep talking to tell you to shut the fuck up. Go in your room and, and talk about, ooh, my nails. <laughs> it hurts. Julie, it doesn't fucking hurt that bad. You split the bone up your fucking leg. Julie, no. <laughs> You're not, you're not playing me. <laughs> so, She's got all them broken ass pins and shit. Had surgery. Had surgery. Didn't even cry. Uh, yes, I did. Oh if you don't remember correctly, I cried hysterically on the way to the After hospital. Julie, we were on well, the drugs. stop fucking crying because we're going to put on a comedy. We don't want to listen to that boo hoo. Oh, my nails. Oh. I'm not crying on my nails no more because David's going to take me to those Vietnamese people to get them redone. I don't know. That's so stupid. You should just use a set of mine. No, because I want the gel. No, I don't want to hear your excuses. I didn't say give me an excuse. I was just telling you something. 
I didn't want to respond. I have to soak these off. Can I? Uh, it was okay. Thank you, mom. For thank you, mom, for offering me that. But instead, I get. <laughs> I have to go soak these off now. David, I don't care. I worked really hard to get the money to do it all. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> You're bullying me. My mom is bullying me. I feel taken advantage of right now. Still in soda. Still in soda. I don't care. So you weren't blind like this until I got here? Well, I know what it is, it's just you can't. It can't be helped, unfortunately. Julie, you're once again devastated by the loss of her acrylic gel nail. Mom, it's 
still doesn't make any sense to cry it out. think of fucking something I could have for you to label and I was thinking man it would be so cool if I had a name for my army and everything that you know but I mean it's not like we can't do it at some point oh yeah we can do it why so many of these movies are just not even remotely comedic films like Shit. You shouldn't cry over serious stuff all the time. Maybe I would tolerate this behavior, but I'm not here.
いです These are for the TV show Titan. Sneak out of Compton. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake.
there's no telling why it's not working. Just because it's old? See what I'm working with here? A bunch of nonsense. Right now I'm in two loop. Yeah. Oh, is that an FX server? Is that something in my array? No, it's not. Horror stories, it's just Seven? an anthology Was that series. Sherry bomb in your gym class, and I heard that one or more of you may have been involved. All of us? I don't know who's telling the truth and who's not. So until the one who is responsible comes forth and is straight with me, you're in detention for the whole weekend. Mr. Valley, this is BS. Like, my parents are freaking out over something I had nothing to do with. Your parents. You should see mine. Seriously, Mr. Gallo, nothing about this is fair. I know. When that cherry bomb went off, it, it, it panicked everyone. We all thought it was... So then I triggered the new lockdown technology system. The alarms went off, scared the whole school. It sends out these text messages to every parent and every school board member. And they're breathing down my neck. They want to know what happened. So help me. Tell me who did it, and then we can all just go home. Thank you. 
maybe use this time to think about selling if you did it. Someone's a snitch, man. She's a cheerleader. Yeah, which basically means she's got the muscles of a gymnast and pull two and a half. It's a long way. Uh, hey, I'm right here. And my name is Gabby with our club. But you can call me Ma'am and keep it moving. Well, what's up with you and the big guy? Ma'am? My name's Winston Oma Wallet. Why are you here, Jack Spencer? Well, I'm just curious. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, I got this. <clears throat> Never, nowhere, no chance, no way, no how, absolutely not, not in a hundred years. Not in a million years. Not in a billion years. Not if we would solve world hunger. I don't know. Not if we were the last two really people Jack? left on Earth. Give me an N. Oh, N. Shit. Give me an O. Come on. Oh, so that what bag is that just moved. No. Oh. Yeah, how about not today, Satan? How about... Hey, is this someone's bag? I think your phone's vibrating. Oh, languages, languages, okay. The fella poly and uh, all three uses, which is, I'd love to, just not with me. Okay, how about one of these spots? Oh, we're going back to the classics now. Yeah. Okay, well, that's the most classic line there is. But it's not me, it's not you, it's me. Oh, shit. Whoa. 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 Jeez, what is your problem? Right. Hey, inside. You had a face. A face. <laughs> yeah, nice try, bro. I'm serious. Look, it's not funny. I'm not trying to be funny. That's where I'm going. You're not looking that bad because you told me to just for something stupid to pop out and scare me. No, respect, man. Crime fight that takes planning and foresight. You guys, I'm not joking. Gabby, what do you think I should do? This big man gonna go hide behind your new girlfriend. What is your problem? trouble. I'm not doing anything. Anyhow, how's Gallo gonna know? Hey, this enhanced security game is really interfering with my high school experience. It's a good thing I can MacGyver it. She's left well, already in attention for a school until high school. I'm Kayla, and everything. That were you and me? So we'd be a set. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Are you done for this? 
Oh, no fun. I gotta pee. The thing, like the metal thing? No, don't do that. He just wants attention. Maybe. He's a good guy. Agree to disagree. Wait, did you mean Jack Flippin'? Yes, he is Jack's your new boyfriend? What? No, I no, I would never. Sure. You want to see a head in the bag? Oh shit. I'll give you a head in the bag. <laughs> Where's Jax? No. I would say as much. This is beyond disappointing. He said he was going to the bathroom. But he can't help it if he takes off all his You can't leave your bags lying around here, kids. He comes back here, tell him he's suspended. I'm gonna do a call to parents and tell him I don't know where their kid is. Every time I'm locked in the store. Oh, hey, seriously? Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'll be back for the rest of the detention. I can't have another kid just ignore everything I say and take off. Damn. Seems pissed. Yeah, well, Jax is probably the snitch. Only you are, and. Whoa, what?
can't stay here. Mr. Gallo is gonna come. And that thing's gonna jump in and kill him. Kill us. This is all my fault. This is not your fault, see? Max and I are the ones who ripped the cherry bomb. I was mad at Lyndon because I thought you two were dating. Jax just wanted to cheer me up. He could be a good guy. Then Gallo called me into his office. He told me he thought Jax did it. That Jax said he saw you two set up the cherry bomb and that I was with them and I was back home. I didn't sell you two out. Not really. The lockdown made everyone freak out. It was such a big deal, and Gallo started talking about automatic expulsion. He panicked and said I didn't know for sure. Gallo could tell I was lying. I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea you liked me. Sam get pulled into this. Jack thought Sam would be the wild card. Plus, like you said, he knew it to annoy him. Sit down, if I'm gonna come and sit down with you. Yeah. yeah. Really likes that bed. That's it. We get the bed. I know we can get out there when we get the house. How are we gonna do that? I have to distract him while you two get there. See, I'm not, I'm not fast like that. And I'm not strong like you do. For what it's worth, Lindsay and I were just friends. I ghosted you because I, I freaked out. I've never liked you before.
Once upon a time, there was a boy who found himself lost between two rats. Okay, we're switching it up today. Girls, stay here for jumping jacks. Boys, 